Hi everybody, this is Andy and this is an introduction series to the Godot engine and in this tutorial series I want to cover a few topics from downloading Godot, downloading Godot or, or compiling it from the source to setting up a project and um, just creating a simple um, project with the engine so you get used to the user interface to the, to the scripting language and to the overall UI interface and that's that's what I want to cover in this topics here and we will start right away from the godotengine.org website where you can download the um, the uh, Godot engine just go to the download section and here you have the latest release builds which are the which, which is the 1.0 stable release um, just download it from here for the um, operating system you use if you want to use the latest um, GitHub builds, just go to the GitHub project site and here you can get the sources. So you download the sources and um, then you can go to the wiki, then scroll down to the uh, advanced uh, link and uh, select the operating system you want to compile for. So if you do it for Linux, uh, this is the most simple way to compile Godot just um, or for Ubuntu Linux just copy this command open a terminal paste it press enter and once you've done uh, with uh, with it y once you have installed all the dependencies and programs um, just go to the don't go dot uh, folder and type in scons platform equals x11 for Linux when you are on Windows, you uh, type in Windows, and that's it. Press Enter, and Godot will be compiled. Um, so this is the folder where you have to uh, execute the command, and then you have a bin folder where the compiles will go into. So here is the Godot build I use. Okay, once you have compiled Godot, just start it. Uh, and you will launch the um, project manager so we will create a new project let's browse to a folder we will go to home and the development and here I will create a new folder which is called tutorial okay select it, give it a name let's call it Godot tutorial create okay now we have created a new project and if you go to the folder you see that Godot has, has created a few files there so development tutorial and this is our project folder it has created an engine CFG file an icon PNG and uh, icon PNG flex um, this is where uh, resources are saved and all other stuff but we, d we don't have to look at this for now okay so we will use this project and just say edit now Godot will launch the project with an empty scene so in this series I will cover the um, uh, Godot user interface so you, you, ha you know where, where to navigate and where to do certain things First of all, you have the scene import and export buttons here. In scene, you can save the scenes, you can load other scenes from that project, um, you can quit uh, to the project project manager. You have the user pr the project uh, settings here, where you can um, set all different settings. We will go into the settings later too. Um, you have the import uh, button where you can import all sorts of uh, assets for example 2D textures, 3D scenes, models and um, you have this export button here where you can export your game to all ki different kinds of uh, platforms for example Android Blackberry is not supported I think anymore HTML5 is um, not stable yet but Android, Linux, Mac OS X Windows works pretty nice. Here are the um, here we have a play button 
with uh, is, uses, is used for launching the project um, stop it and um, here are editor settings if you want to set up your um, go to compile for Android you will s have to set up here a few editor settings also you have to install the um, export manager uh, e export templates which can be done here so just download the export templates from the Golot website this is a zip file where all this, this one here uh, all the export files are included and j then just install them with the install export templates button here and this will install the export <coughs> uh, templates okay here we have um, five different or four different um, editor types the 2d editor the 3d editor which is in 3d space of course the script editor where we will script and the help reference here we can find um, all the scri uh, scripting API and all the functions we use but this will be covered later too. Um, in this series I will mostly cover the 2D part of Godot so that's why we won't go too much into the 3D part here so we will stay here. Okay, Here's the select icon we can select uh, nodes that's what the objects are called in Godot they are nodes uh, we can uh, move them, rotate them uh, grab them this is for locking nodes and um, constraining here are a few edit settings uh, snapping can, can be enabled here are a few view settings most of the part will be uh, placed here in the scene tree and um, here we can create new nodes here you see all the different type of nodes that are available in Godot here you can load resources once you have uh, created a a scene you will you can save it and then load it with this icon here this one is used for replacing nodes with other nodes and to the uh, in, uh, this icons I will cover later too um, here will be resource resources displayed this is the inspector which will display all the properties for nodes and here's a, s a small uh, file system okay I think that's it for these for this part of the UI and in the next part we will go into creating a few nodes uh, explaining the scene system a little bit and then um, we will build up the tutorials piece for piece and create some interactive mechanics okay I hope you enjoyed this video and you will watch the next one if you liked it please subscribe and share this video with, with, uh, with other people thanks for watching